Welcome back. It's Kevin at the Big Board. I have my own t-shirt now, uh, courtesy of uh, Vento Nuovo Games. Uh, as part of the, <clears throat> I don't know if this comes as part of the uh, Kickstarter or not. I really didn't pay too much attention to it. I just uh, punched all the buttons and said, do it for me. For some reason, uh, I ended up with a 2XL. So uh, I think that's a hint that I need to go on a diet. But I appreciate that. Uh, one thing I do know about Russell t-shirts is I do tend to shrink. So I no doubt this will fit just fine, but that's very cool. A nice little logo there, etc. The Kickstarter for Kiev 41 from uh, Vento Nuovo Games is big in a small box. There's a lot of stuff here. And it's the third game in a trilogy uh, that covers from uh, Moscow 41 was the first one, obviously, then Leningrad, and then, uh, let's see, then uh, obviously Kiev. And I know that we can link uh, Moscow and Leningrad, but I don't know if we can link all three. And that would be a large block game. Uh, uh, so we, that's something we would need to dig into and have a look at. I it got in super late last night uh, and it was, uh, <clears throat> I think, after 12.30 when I cracked the box. And I flicked through the rules real quick and I didn't see linking rules, but they may be uh, coming forthwith or they may be somewhere else, who knows. But I want to show you what's in the box. So he, your box, it's kind of small and you're thinking, well, Kevin, how, how much can be, you know, how much can be in that little box? Well, let me show you. And there's some things are extras, right? Some things you had to, you had to, you know, pay extra for. But what uh, I, and I think, uh, I think Manuele may have shoved a few extra things in here for me, knowing that I own a couple of his, uh, own all these other games. So, uh, replacement stickers, designer edition stickers for 41, uh, for both Moscow and Leningrad. And they're just subtly different from the normal stickers. I'll show you the, here's the, oh wait, here we go. Where's the, oh, here's the designer edition ones for Kiev. And then these are the icon stickers. So for folks that like to put the little tanks and the infantry guys, I know some people like to mix and match. They like to have the leaders with their photographs on them and the tanks, but then have infantry uh, elements represented as NATO symbols, which is all cool. And you've got the ships on, that are involved in the Kiev thing on the side there. And then you got uh, info blocks, the game blocks, and then four dice. And then inside here are uh, a couple of uh, scenario charts. Oh, here's the regular stickers, I believe. Yeah, here's the standard stickers. So you can see the standard stickers. You can see, let me show you the icon stickers here. And then the designer edition stickers. So once again, there are very subtle differences. In some cases, no change at all. Uh, I mean, so here they've got a, a black triangle instead of a uh, for replacement, etc. And the artwork is a little bit different on the bits and pieces. And I'm actually sweating because I had to chase a 14-year-old dog down the street. You would think that would be hard, but it was. Uh, then let me see here. Uh, scenario. This is the uh, information cards. You get one each for each player. Helps you know what's what on the map, what all the icons mean, what all the pips mean. And then a sequence of play that really, if you use this, and I've said this before in all my other videos, videos I've done on these guys, you use this, uh, you, you can almost ignore the rules. You don't really need the rules, you can play off of these. Two scenario cards with one, two, three, four scenarios in total for the game. This is a two player game. You can play it solitaire. There are no specific solitaire rules. And uh, I think, that's just fine for this particular game. Now, the map, now this is a coated cardboard map. It's, um, I would call it a medium weight cardstock. I'm trying to lay this out. Let's move the box. And my glass of water, and the blocks. It's a professional outfit here. We pay people to do the lighting. We pay people to stage everything, as you can see. The Black Sea, the opening uh, assault begins along here. And you can see all the areas. Uh, there's your uh, road to Tula, 
which will probably link you up to the Moscow side of things. Moscow 41, Kharkov, Rostov on the right here, and uh, the Azov Sea and Crimea of Sevastopol, which is, of course, is a victory condition. And uh, there you have it, right? Nice map. Now this map is also water resistant. So I've, uh, and I've tested that out uh, intentionally. Uh, nice map, just that in of itself, nice map. You've got your uh, rules, which are full color, uh, pretty well uh, written as usual. Uh, I had complained when uh, the first games from Vento Nuovo came out, Blocks in the East and some of those block series games, that there was a lack of clarity because of the translations. And he now has two people who, uh, well, one of them is Scottish, so he doesn't really speak English, but he speaks Scottish, uh, <laughs> is helping him with the grammar and the punctuation. So if it looks a little weird, it's only because it's a, it's a Scotsman <laughs> translating or, uh, or fixing uh, an Italian's translation from Italian to English. I joke, I joke. It's all a joke. You may all know who Jim is. Right, uh, so there's that. Now, in the Kickstarter, there are a number of other things that you can sign up for. You can get some extra blocks. I got two boxes, two bags of extra blocks. And what I'm probably going to do is uh, once the rules come out on PDF, I will give away a Ziploc version of the game. And you can go download the rules yourself. I'll copy the scenario cards for you, and that will be a giveaway on the big board and I'll don't so I'll donate one of my extra set of blocks and you know what I'll do is I'll probably give you either the icon stickers or the I don't know the designer edition stickers whatever you want uh, and we'll, we'll work it out and uh, and I'll send you that original map that comes with the game just to keep the shipping costs down uh, there's some extras there's bags uh, bags for drawers for keeping well a for keeping your blocks in but then b for drawers when you're pulling reinforcements there's little you know bits and pieces there's planes and all sorts of stuff um <clears throat> there's that right and then there's a historical commentary i haven't had a chance to have a look at this yet it's still in the bag uh it's good stuff you're not going to read any startling insights here i don't believe there's probably also hey here's how i can win in fact yeah here you go here's a designer and strategy guide in there as well so that's very cool so you will uh, get some hints and tips from people who have play tested and whatnot and the designer himself and then there's a full mounted map that comes with the game uh, as well and I, and, I, and I apologize for not knowing the specifics of the kickstarter what is and is not included in the stretch goals but I do know that you can add a lot of these things on and I believe that this was included in the game it may or may not be and it doesn't really matter you can go check that out yourself and you can also just go look at it on the website because you obviously can't buy it on the kickstarter now so it's just a matter of whether or not you want a mounted map and it's a very nice mounted map I will say that much it also is water resistant so I'm gonna put that to one side now the last thing that I have to share. Did I pull it out of the box? I think I did. Oh no. Uh, I don't want to show you that yet. Uh, let's see if I can get this out of here. Well, I have the Gore-Tex map as well. So I, let's, and this, I, I, I'll be honest here, I did not, uh, did not order this. This was a, a, a thank you from Emanuele. But this is the monster sized, super duper big, made from Gore-Tex, gorgeous map. And so you just lay this out, it flattens out real quick. You could, you know, wear it as a cape if you wanted to as well, you can do that as well. You can get the other two Gore-Tex maps and you could probably make a suit out of this. I think Gore-Tex could be making a comeback. Who knows? But it looks very cool and it'd be nice to play the game with lots of space in each area and have at it, right? It's a awesome little addition and an extra that you can have. Uh, I, I think these are 15 euros each or 20 euros each or thereabouts. It's, you know, now the euro is like a, a, a dollar nine instead of a dollar 35. So that makes uh, Emanuele's games all the less expensive. And I think the quality, the, these blocks are uh, cut and milled and dyed in Europe. 
They are not uh, done in China with the poisonous paints that every other block game in the world has, unless they're made and dyed in Europe. So they uh, you put these in your mouth and not get poisoning, and you can lick your fingers after you've been playing and not be poisoned. No one talks about that in the board game world, that all of the blocks that are dyed like this have uh, nasty toxins in them. These do not. Uh, and these, and I like this size of block too, right? It's uh, basically almost the same size as a counter. And uh, with the artwork and the color and everything, it's very vibrant on the map. And the artwork's improved immensely over time too with these guys. Uh, you have a, a subtlety to the, to the map layout and the iconography on the map and the fonts and the color scheme and things like that. This is a really well done uh, representation. So very, very cool. Now some of the things that you could have uh, got as well, they also have a map, like a military version of this map with no areas on it, just for historical purposes. I've got one of those for one of the other games, I think for Moscow 41. I had purchased that and that's pretty cool to have as well. Lots of different little bits and pieces you can pick up along the way. All right, thought I'd share that with you. 11 minutes, let's let you go back to uh, doing your thing. Oh, look down here. There's a little uh, putting everything in context. This is where the game is played. And then you would have the Moscow game and then Leningrad up here. All right, folks, adios.